What's going on guys, it's Madder again, back with some more 5 minute previews. And uh, this one's actually something really, really interesting. Very, very weird. Possibly one of the weirdest games I think I've ever played. Um, but anyway, we're playing Welcome to Ember today. And the first thing I want to point out is sort of the unique sort of art style it's got. It's very much looking like an indie game. Yeah, the basic story is uh, we're on some sort of planet, assumed to be like an alien planet, something like that. And there seems to be a period of time where people get hallucinations if you're outside and not in a sleeping chamber. And Matthew, the main character here, and this girl called Mary, who there is definitely some tension between. Uh, Mary is caught out essentially in the storm. And we're going to risk it and just go out there and run at her and, and see what essentially see what we can do the boss who is this bald man lovely bald man on the screen right now is telling us not to do that and that we're idiots but we're having none of that so we're going to decide to just charge blindly into this open world the one thing i didn't like i know it's a it's a free to play game but the text the text chat i just hate it when there's no voices in games anymore it doesn't cost that much money um overall gameplay now to me to me, the gameplay wasn't great. There was definitely some puzzle-solving elements uh, over the course of the game. The game takes about 20, 25 minutes to complete. And it does have some interesting stuff to do. But there's just little things where it's just not clear what to do. Like right here, for example, one of the flying things in the air, they pick you up. The game doesn't tell you this, but they pick you up and then you press a series of buttons for them to drop you back down. Now, I got to this point in the game and they hadn't done that yet, so I had no clue how to get over. Fortunately, I stopped and he managed to pick me up. But... I thought he was going to kill me, so I tried to fall down, but I didn't die, but it's just a little quirk from the game that didn't didn't really didn't really see I didn't really see it going well for other people. You don't play games as much, for example. I suppose they're not the sort of people who are going to come across a, a free free game on Steam. Now it does get weirdly psychedelic, like I said, we've just changed colour there. Um Matthew's getting a little bit weird, his avatar's getting a little bit weird, and this this is a running theme throughout the game. This is absolutely, um, absolutely running deep throughout the game. It gets very, very weird. People get very, very odd. Um, it, not just Matthew, even. Mina, the girl we're saving, as you'll see shortly, complete free. Now, graphically, I think at first it looks quite interesting. It looks quite eye-opening, and we think it's we think it's great. As you can see here, we've turned into an alien now. We're, the, the hallucinations are that bad. We've turned into an alien, and we're chasing our eyeballs down so the story is not exactly cutting edge uh, by any means by any stretch of the imagination but the gameplay is actually pretty bitty i think you can only really it's all keyboard based you can only really jump move side to side everything is essentially obviously very linear because it's a short game but it just doesn't it's not seamless it's not polished enough even for a little indie game for me here this is essentially the boss fight to get your eyes back that's the only real boss fight in the game you've just got to jump up to this creature's eyes and close them and as you can see, our eyes are in the sky behind it, and we're looking to save them. Relatively basic, but it didn't actually pose any real challenge. I don't think I got attacked once. Generally, throughout the levels, if something hits you once, you die. Uh, and then for some reason, dolphins are carrying the metal crates. The, I do like the whole concept. The concept, I think, is actually fantastic. A, a planet that makes you hallucinate. They could have done all sorts with it. I just think they could have maybe taken a little bit more time. This is like the sort of final boss run. That's actually Mary, the girl we're trying to save that creature they're both hallucinating so badly that for some reason she's running away from him i don't really know why the story isn't explained in a fantastical manner but she's running away from him. we're chasing her with our eyeballs in our hands and it's just all very very weird it was a game that left me very very confused not only with how to control my character how to move around the map properly at one point it just had me moving completely to the left but then also what's going on here we're all hallucinating, but there's no indication of what that, that creature is. And it's just throwing out words. It's very, very... It's very niche. But don't get me wrong, I actually enjoyed it. Like I say, it took me 20, 25 minutes. A quick little run-through. And considering that, I did actually enjoy it. But it is very strange, and it just seems to me like... If, to, to be one of those free games of note, it needed to just be a little bit more polished off. And I think that's, that's possibly the Welcome to Ember sort of let down essentially is that it's just not quite there there's a couple of things that are just a bit off 
you will see in a second it does actually only have a production team of five people which goes some way to explaining that and pardoning some of it but i just think in this instance they could have waited a little bit longer and just polished off a couple of little things like one of the ways you die for example is if you touch certain sand you just fall through the floor putting in an animation for that I'd, i personally don't know how long it takes but it seems that that would just add a bit more value to the game and a bit more of a threat to the sand so as always with the uh, five minute free views we're going to give the game ratings based on graphics and gameplay so the graphics i actually quite like the art style even though i do think it loses its charm about 10 minutes in when you sort of get used to it and everything that's going on uh, but for graphics i gave it 25 now it's the gameplay i think it fails the most here it seems a bit clunky the controls seem a bit separate to me and i didn't really like that so for graphics it got 25 and for gameplay it's getting a 20 which gives it an overall score of 45. so we'll add that score of 45 to the table as we can see we've only played two games so far sabotage is at the top of the table with a great very respectable score for a first game and then welcome to ember tucks in second in the table there but i do not think he'll be there for long with a score of 45 and a few other games for me to get through i think for the time being it's it's not looking good for welcome to ember i think it obviously until i do eight more games it'll be in the top 10 but i think it's one of those games that's potentially dangerous for now Anyway, this has been Mada with another five-minute free view. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.